Hello students. Today we will learn the topic airbag system. So even this system comes under the safety of the vehicle or vehicle safety. So what are airbags? So airbags are inflatable cushions designed to protect the automobile occupants from serious injuries in case of a collision so here you can see this is an airbag here okay so if a person is seated here in the front seat then when the vehicle collides or when there is an accident then what happens is the person will come forward and he may get injured but when the air bags are provided then it will protect the person from injuries when the collision occurs so these are nothing but inflatable cushions which are designed to protect the occupants of the automobile from serious injuries inflatable cushions designed to protect the automobile occupants from serious injury in case of collision so the airbag is a part of inflatable restraint system it is also called as air cushion restraint system so this airbag is a part of a restraint system restraint means to stop okay so air cushion it is also known as air cushion restraint system air bag is a part of inflatable system also known as air cushion restraint system air cushion restraint system or it may be also called as air bag supplemental restraint system or air bag supplemental restraint system so it may be called as srs that is supplemental restraint system because the airbag is designed to supplement the protection offered by the seat belts so why it is called as a supplemental restraint system because the air bag is designed to supplement the restraint offered by the seat belt so here you can see this is the seat on which the person is seated he is already wearing a seat belt so seat belt is offering protection or safety by so seat belt is offering restraint from the person when collision occurs he will usually move forward okay so by using the seat belt the person is seated firmly on the seat he will not move forward or fall forward with the help of air bags air bags are providing supplementary safety that is extra safety along with the seat belts so they are designed to supplement the restraint that is stopping from moving forward which is offered by the seat belt so both of them together that is a seat belt and air bag will help the occupants of the automobile from avoiding serious injuries 
so seat belts are needed to hold the occupant securely in place especially in side impacts rear impacts and roll overs so seat belts are required for holding the occupant firmly in the place especially in side impacts that is when a car is hit on the side or rear rear means from behind if it is hit or roll over when the car rolls over and falls upside down so in such cases seat belts are needed to hold the person firmly in his or her place so seat belts are still needed to hold the occupant securely in place especially in side impact rear impact and roll overs so when the collision occurs upon detection of a collision the air bags will inflate instantly that is they get blown up instantly to cushion the exposed occupant with a big gas filled pillow so here you can see this is a air bag okay it will inflate itself when collision occurs and it will form a big gas filled pillow will be formed to cushion the occupant who is exposed to this collision so upon detecting a collision air bags inflate instantly to cushion the exposed occupant with a big gas filled pillow so usually or typically the air bag system consists of an air bag module so this module will contain an inflator or gas generator and an air bag then it will have crash sensors a diagnostic monitoring unit and a steering wheel connecting rod and an indicator lamp so what are the parts of this air bag system so a typical air bag system consists of air bag module so this module will have containing inflator or gas generator and an air bag so the module consists of an air bag inflator or gas generator along with an air bag then it has a crash sensor then this crash sensor will help the air bag module to sense when the collision occurs then a diagnostic monitor monitoring unit then a steering wheel connecting rod there is a coil which is connecting this system to the steering wheel and there is an indicator lamp so all these components are interconnected by a wiring harness and powered by the vehicle's battery so this air bag module the crash sensor the diagnostic monitoring unit 
steering wheel connecting coil and indicator lamp are all connected to each other by wiring harnesses and they are powered that is they are given energy or power by the vehicles battery these components are interconnected by wiring harness and powered by vehicles battery the airbag system holds a reserve charge after the ignition has been turned off or after the battery has been disconnected so what does the airbag system do it will reserve that is it will store some charge after the ignition has been turned off even if the car is turned off also the airbag will have some reserve charge in it okay even if the battery is disconnected also this airbag will have some charge in it so even when the car is stopped and collision occurs the function of this airbag will not stop because it has some reserved charge in it has been turned off or after the battery is disconnected also so depending on the type or model of the airbag or battery the backup power supply last between 1 second and 10 minutes depending on the model the backup power of the airbags will last between 1 second and 10 minutes since components which are vital for these systems operation might sit dormant for years the airbag circuitry performs an internal self test during each startup usually indicated by a light on the instrument panel so the vital components of this systems operation might sit dormant for years but the airbag circuitry performs an internal self test during each startup usually indicated by light on the instrument panel that glows briefly at each startup so this means that whenever you start the vehicle the airbag system will self test itself that is it will check whether it is working or not during each startup so how it is indicated it is indicated by a light glowing on the instrumental panel during the starting of the vehicle so the vital instruments of the system might be dormant that is they may remain and operating for years so the airbag circuitry performs an internal self test during each startup usually indicated by a light the instrument panel that glows at each start so a crash sensors are designed to prevent the airbag from inflating when the car goes over a bump or a pothole or in case of minor collisions so if the sensors are not provided then what happens is 
even during a minor bump when the car jumps the airbag will start inflating so that is why crash sensors are provided to prevent the airbag from inflating when the car goes over a bump or a pothole or in case of minor collisions so the inflator fits in the module consisting of a oven nylon bag and breaks away plastic horn pad covers so when the crash occurs the inflator which is present in the model it consists of a oven nylon bag and it breaks away the plastic horn pad cover are designed to prevent the airbags from inflating when the car goes over a bump or a pot hole or in case of minor collisions the inflator fits in the into a module consisting of a oven nylon bag so that bag and a break away plastic horn pad cover side impact airbags are used in the car door panels and deployed towards the window during impact to protect the head so not only on the front seat even the sides are also provided with side impact airbags are used in the car door panels and deployed towards the window during impact to protect the head foam padding around the door structure would also be used to cushion the upper body in a side impact head and knee bolsters that is energy absorbing pads to complement the airbag system are also being used or investigated so foam pads or foam padding is also provided on the door structure that is around the door structure so it will also be used to cushion the upper body so this side impact airbags are used to protect the head here the foam paddings around the door structure are used to cushion the upper body of the passenger in a side impact head and knee pads they are called as bolsters energy observing pads to complement the air bags system or also being investigated so this is all about the airbag system i hope you have understood the topic thank you